Right, we're on. Oh, that's filthy. Right, we're on. Today we're talking about putting. I've talked before about how the left hand controls face angle or direction. Yep. And how the right hand controls the loft of the putter. If we can get a position where both function together, we're on it. It's just started raining, but we'll just keep going with this. And today I've got a little drill for you to try, which is probably the easiest putting drill I use, or the most effective putting drill I use when I'm coaching, and it will improve your putting, guarantee it will. So yeah, the rain's on, never mind. I've set myself up here, I've got five balls. I'm putting towards, there's a white cane there. So I've set myself up to putt towards the white cane. I can't believe it started raining. You got a alignment stick, you're gonna to have to use this. You'll need one of them as well. So I'm gonna take my alignment stick and I'm gonna place the butt, the end of it on the alignment on the putter. Alignment stick is gonna go right in there on the line. And it's gonna run up the right hand side of the shaft. This rain's gonna be very heavy. Don't worry about that. So we're there. It's so on the back of the face. I'm gonna put the alignment stick now in my sternum with my hands beside. Then from there, when I take the putt, I want the putter shaft to stay the left side of the cane as I look down, so on this side, and I'm going to stroke my putt, and the putter cane, the putter shaft, sorry, stays left of the cane for the whole motion. So the putter shaft stays left of the cane for the whole motion as I look down at it. So it might be slightly different in the camera angle there, but as I look down, the putter cane is staying left of, the putter shaft, sorry, is staying left of the cane. You can see how my left wrist stays in position, therefore the loft or the direction of the club is not changed. My right wrist's not moving, so therefore the loft's not changed. So shaft left of cane all the way down, and we're good. This is a great drill, it puts you in the right position to impact. I don't know why they got rid of the belly putter. Why would you get rid of the belly putter? Probably got rid of the belly putter for this exact reason, to be fair. A lot of guys used to, guys on tour used to practice with the belly putter and then putt with the conventional putter. But this just keeps structure between hands, arms, shoulders. You can really feel how the shoulders rock now. So it's definitely an upper body motion. There's none of this going on. You can see how the putter shaft moves behind the red line, the cane, if I get too handsy. Can you see that happening? That's not good. If my hands go forward, I've taken loft off. My hands go back, I've taken loft on. Back generally means the putter face is pointing left. Forward means to the right. So I'm set now, good to go. As I look down, the shaft is left of the cane. Step on, hit a few putts, keeping the shaft left of the cane. Structured. I can't swing too hard, can't swing too fast. I can only swing consistently. Sounds good, doesn't it? bit fiddly to set up but then you get the idea. Paul Azinger. Paul Azinger used to have a putting app called, I think, I can't remember what it was called, but he talked about when he putted his best, that was really good. So there's two really good putts. Azinger talked about when he putted his best he felt as though the butt end of the putter pointed towards his belly button, his navel for the full stroke of the golf swing. That's what got the shoulders working and I guess that's belly putter idea. So once you've rolled a few putts like this, shaft left of cane. That every time. Then take it out and feel as though the, bell, the bell, butt end points towards your belly button. Same motion. Hit the cane again. Perfect. So I can feel now when I'm taking the stroke and I feel as though my shoulders are doing the job instead of just hands and arms because I'm trying to recreate this motion that I had with the cane. Set up. Good. Look, it's just pure. Look at that. Right, it's starting to get very wet. We'll do a couple of parts down the line before we go. Set, good, cane stays left, shaft stays left. Got 
hang of that. Right, it's getting a bit wet, let's get back in this buggy. Right, the rain's on, far too heavy now. Guys, thanks very much for watching the video. In the link below, in the description below, you'll see there's a little link. If you click that, there is a newsletter sign up for if you want that. If you sign up for that, then you'll get information from me. You'll get notifications of all my latest videos. Um, there'll be videos in that as well. So it's just an addition to the channel. Um, feel free to click that. Again, thank you very much for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, click the button. Hit the thumbs up button and the bell notification. See what happens when you do that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.